In this video, I want to talk about a bunch of Modern Warfare 2 DLC news. One of the biggest complaints for Season 1 is the fact that there's been no new multiplayer maps. All we've seen is a reimagining of Shoot House, and then we'll be seeing shipments return again later in Season. Unless they have any secret surprise maps coming in Season 1 Reloaded that they haven't announced yet, so far these are all of the multiplayer maps we're receiving, so not a single brand new map. However, before Season 1 launched, data miners leaked two other maps coming to the game. One is called Sun which takes place by a boat that has crashed at the shore, and another is oil fields. Now, we don't know when these two maps are going to be coming to the game. If they are not a secret surprise in Season 1 Reloaded, then they'll probably be coming in Season 2. As it turns out though, you can see what these maps are like already because they are a part of Al Masra, so you can check them out in Warzone right now. These do seem like really large and disrupted sections, so I think they'll probably be ground war maps, but they might have a 6v6 variant and a ground war variant. But I'm not exactly sure, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Of course, all of the sections from Almazra will eventually make their way to multiplayer. There's a bunch of remade maps, I've already posted a whole video going over all of the remade sections, and they'll probably come all to multiplayer at some point. There were actually some more maps found in the files of the game before Season 1 launched, but we don't really know many details about them apart from the names of them, but people are speculating that these might be gunfight maps, considering one of them is called Drainage, which was a gunfight map released to Modern Warfare 2019 in its year 2. Gunfight was supposed to release to Modern Warfare 2 in Season 1, but for some weird reason it hasn't released. Infinity Ward haven't even commented on why it hasn't released, so it might be saved for Season 2 instead, and that's when we could see these maps. If they are actually gunfight maps, of course, that is just speculation. Speaking of future content coming to the game, though, when Season 1 released early in some regions, people were able to load into a brand new Spec Ops mode, which is Gun Game, played on Mount Zaya Defender. It's exactly the same as Mount a Defender, where it's just like survival and you have to survive six waves. However, in contrast, your weapons rotate, they are on a cooldown, a countdown, and you'll change to a random weapon every time the cooldown finishes. So this was released early and then was randomly removed from the game, so it probably will be returning at some point, maybe in Season 1 Reloaded. I like this though because it's essentially a way for them to get more Spec Ops content out of content they've already released, and Gun Game is really fun and it lets players try out a bunch of weapons they wouldn't normally use. Gun Game has been found in the files for multiplayer too, so it will be releasing to multiplayer as well at some point, but probably not for quite some time. Speaking of new modes though, two new modes were added into Private Match with the release of Season 1. So far they are not in multiplayer, so we're not sure when they're going to be coming, Infinity Ward haven't announced anything just yet, but we're going to be seeing Cyber Attack returning that was in Modern Warfare 2019. I'll just play a short clip of gameplay playing it in a custom game against bots. Cyber Attack! Another mode that was found in the files is Bounty, a pretty unique and fun mode. Once again, I'll just play a short clip playing it in a custom game against bots, just so you can see what it's like. Bounty. Before we continue with the rest of the information I want to talk about in this video, I just have a quick sponsored message to share for you. This video has been kindly sponsored by NBA Clash, which recently just released entirely free to play on iOS and Android devices. It's the first Clash style NBA licensed basketball game allowing you to play quick matches with live opponents and friends. Take your game to the next level, packed with intense gameplay and over the top visuals, it's the ultimate basketball gaming experience. This fast paced head to head game will have you hooked on basketball like never before, school your opponents with quick drives to the 
the basket, long range three pointers and explosive dunks. As you climb the leaderboards, unlock new NBA stars to add to your ideal team. Set your lineup and execute the best strategy to dominate the competition and become the ultimate champion. Outthink and outplay your opponents by utilizing NBA Clash's vast library of action zones, fly by the defense and break some ankles with Jalen Brown's get open shot action zone and you'll make it rain threes all day. Upgrade your player skills with everything from killer pump fakes and fadeaways to clutch shots and rim wreckers. Only the strong survive. Activate critical abilities including Stephen Curry's daze all action, instantly daze all opponents when you use any action zone, or Luka Doncic's minus one at teamwork scores from anywhere by any teammate lowering your opponent's score by one, and many more. Build a team of stars. The more you play, the more stars you unlock. Dominate the hardwood in fast-paced three-on-three action. Master your favorite players' action zones to create killer crossovers and unstoppable dunks. Then take your team online to show everybody who's boss. With infinite ways to mix and match your lineup, you can create the ultimate squad and take home the championship. Feel like you are on the court in this arcade-style basketball experience that puts you in the heart of the action. With players and moves you know and love, whether it's one-on-one -on -one against a friend or challenging a rival, all of the game time excitement is here right at your fingertips. Conquer the leaderboard. With all 30 teams to choose from, you can pick your favourite NBA squad and show the world what you are made of. Then, take on players from all over the globe in exciting online matchups. Prove that you are the best by climbing to the top of the leaderboard. A game for real ball fans. Go head to head against other players from around the world in fast paced tactical battles featuring sensational NBA teams and players. It's the ultimate test of your basketball knowledge and skills. Rep your favourite team, pick from any team in the league such as the Brooklyn Nets or the Los Angeles Lakers and more. So what are you waiting for? Get in the game for free and show everyone who's the real king of the court via the link in the description. As you know later in season 1 there is going to be a football event inside of Modern Warfare 2 to coincide with the World Cup right around the corner as Neymar, Messi and Pogba operators are coming to the game. Well for this event there's a brand new mode coming to multiplayer which is called Boost Ball and now we know how this mode is going to work people were thinking this might just be a reskinned uplink where the ball is just a football but it seems like this mode is just going to be exactly like Rocket League where you'll just be on a football pitch on ATVs and you'll have to try and score in the net. Very self-explanatory. I wonder if there might be some other modes coming for this event like Uplink for example because Uplink has been found in the files of the game so we don't know when it's releasing and we have no confirmation just yet. By the way we do have a look at Shipment which is going to be coming to multiplayer as I said earlier in Season 1 Reloaded. Of course this is a section within Almazra in Warzone 2 but it's much larger and in the multiplayer variant they have cornered it off so it's pretty much just like the classic Shipment for those who are worried that the the Warzone version was too big and it really reminds me of wet work because it's set out in the Atlantic Ocean and it's raining and dark and gloomy whereas the Warzone version is set in bright daylight and it's docked at the shore. Oh and just to close out this video the other day I posted all of the remade map sections inside of Almazra for Warzone 2 however I completely missed one which is Pipeline so I just thought I would showcase it at the end of this video it's located near where the shipment remake can be found within Hafid Port and you can see the building. I wonder if there's any other remade sections that I have missed from that video. I know there's a lot of reused buildings and assets but there's no other full-on remakes apart from this one as far as I'm aware that I didn't cover in that video but if you know of any let me know in the comment section. Anyways that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. Thank you for watching the video and make sure to subscribe if you're not here for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways thank you for watching and uh, bye.